this situation kind of hurts my eyes. I don't even know why. I don't even know if it's close, but I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm tearing up. Never and heard of it before. I thought it would be nice to add some apples because I was like, oh, it's not giving out the fancy I want. Mm -hmm. So I made some. Mm. We got invited to our first barbecue. Y'all heard right, bar a big Q. But it's up to you how hungry you are. Mm. I'm not super, super hungry, but you know, it takes time to cook, so. It takes time to cook. Hey, Carla, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't be too hot. There it is, there it is. Paul in that thing. Bow, bow. Okay, Get it. go ahead, dribble it. Two things took place that I was like, oh snap, this is awesome. But one of the things that I wanna share with you all is that I had the uh, ability and the experience of meeting a- What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -ba. What's up, beautiful people? We are back again on this thing, okay? And so since I came back from, which, you know what I'm saying, don't worry about all that, okay? We still adjusting, getting acclimated to being back home and making the necessary transitions to do so. Speaking of transitions, y'all see the face. I'm trying to get the face back together because when you out on that uh, seat, things, you know what I'm saying, start percolating and penetrating the facials and all of those things. But truth be told, it's the difference between South African water, South African food, and other people food, and other people water. Like, it did a little number to our face. Crystals, too. But nonetheless, here I am trying out a mask, thanks to wifey. And the kids, they had jokes. They had jokes about my face. What y'all had to say about my face? You're, you look just like grandma, and you do huh. not. Huh. No, mommy. Oh. You do not look the same. Oh, snap. Well, look at me. Look around your little mouth crevices. They don't look the same. Hmm. You need to clean that up before you talk about me. Ricky, what you had to say about my face? Your face looks so funny. I know. And I want to send it to your grandpa, oh. your, your dad, oh. your mom. Oh, you sending people pictures of my face? Yes. Oh, snap. Real talk, my man had me take about seven pictures, so I don't know if each person's going to get a different photo or what. However, Ricky was definitely captivated by my face. And in it all with it all, I just had to, you know what I'm saying, get back together. So this situation kind of hurts my eyes. I don't even know why. I don't even know if it's close. But I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm tearing up. But anyway, we're going to see what today has to offer and what we're going to get into. And obviously, y'all know we're going to bring you along the way as a well. And Crystal, well, Rain said that today is big breakfast day. So I think Crystal's going to make a big breakfast. I don't know what it's going to be. But obviously, I will show you all those things. Now, subscribe! Bars. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so thus far. It costs you nothing, but it rewards us very much so greatly. And so thank you, thank you, thank you as we are on our way to 50,000, 75,000, then 100,000 subscribers. And with the help of you, we'll be there that much faster because that many people actually watch our channel each week. However, everybody don't subscribe, but it's all good. They all have their reasons, but you know, don't let it be one of yours. But anyway, let's continue with this day. And our, uh, yeah, the beauty of South Africa. It never, 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 ever fails, but it always is rewarding to see. And uh, obviously, that's why I want to show it to you as well. So, all right, let's get into it. So oh, Rain, you say today is what day? Saturday. Which is big breakfast Saturday, in which my wife has made a something. Uh -huh. you know, we're going to find out what it is. It we looks have like some. A pie. It does look like a pie because it's in a pie pan. You're right. But that's sugar on top of it, so. We put sugar in the pot. Mom, mom, mom. Hello. We about to find out. That is very true. However, we also have some eggs, which I'm excited to get. Oh my gosh, I haven't had eggs like this since we were on the cruise. Yeah. And then Crystal also made bacon for the people that wants bacon. Who wants bacon? Me. Oh, you do, right? You don't want bacon? No. Yeah, me neither. And our, uh, yeah, I'm excited to find out what this is really gonna be. What do you say, brother? We made me an egg sheet. Rain made you ashy. No, he said I even got an ashy butt from that scratchy thing. I did not move my chair. He's bringing me that I moved my chair. I only did this. Okay, sibling problems. Okay, all right, we'll work through it. So this is a French toast bake. French toast bake. I made some cinnamon rolls from scratch the other day, and we can never eat as much as the recipe makes, so mm, I said, delicious. hmm, I can repurpose them. Mm. 
I like it. So it's a cinnamon roll French toast bake. It's a cinnamon roll French toast bake. Never and heard of it before. I thought it would be nice to add some apples because I was like, oh, it's not giving all the fancy I want. Mm. So I made some mm. I made some um, cinnamon brown sugar apples to put on top. Wait, what? Mmm, I dig it. Ricky, you liked it already. Rain says, I would eat this every day. Oh my gosh, my Can wife I does it again. Please have some eggs. Okay, let's let's finish with breakfast, y'all, before we get out. All right, so we finally got out in these streets. We out here at the Benmore. Well, I say we, you only see me because everybody else stayed in the car. However, we got invited to our first barbecue. Y'all heard right, bar, a big queue. And so I asked, what could I bring? They said, I see you've been eating some desserts and found some desserts. So bring dessert to the situation. And so headed over to the Woolworths to do just that, to get the dessert. And uh, we're gonna have a good time. I hope they don't let me down. All right. Whew. Stuff be closing early here. And right now it's like 4.25 and I had a fear. Cause other stuff is closed already in the Benmore, but the Woolworths is open. So let me go ahead and make this happen, y'all. Oh, All right, I got the goods, great people. I forgot my bag in the car. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how it be. But uh, some brownies, some cakes. I feel very satisfied with the options and the things that I chose. And I'm hoping that our, uh, the guest does as well. Let me know in the comment section below where y'all think we are going. This hat should give you an idea. If you know, you know. I'm gonna show you the hat again. Boom. If you know, you know. All right, comment down below. Let me know where y'all think we are going. Anyhow, let's get it, y'all. Hi, right, great people. So I apologize. I did not get any footage at the barbecue, but kids, did y'all have fun at the barbecue? Yes. Where's the barbecue? Interesting. The barbecue. You had so much fun. What I you did. Doing I did. The barbecue, the barbecue is where we just came from. Yes, I get that. Where did we come from? Oh, snap. Okay. Well, <laughs> clearly, the kids had such a phenomenal time that they couldn't even tell you about it. However, I didn't record anything because it was other people there and you know, everybody not doing the YouTube and all of those things. So, you know, you respect people's privacy. However, the food was good, the fellowship was good and the laughter was great. I learned a lot. Like I was asking a lot of questions about various things, South African, uh, because there were people from South Africa that were there and they were very helpful. I'm very informed, I'm excited. Some fun things are to come out of that conversation. And so, you know, it'll, it'll come out in the video. So make sure y'all stay tuned to future videos, other vlogs, because our, uh, yeah, I have some knowledge now, y'all. ocean. That's the what? Ocean. <laughs> Interesting. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I wouldn't say that, but it's beautiful to you. So I'm happy it. because you're happy. And that's, that's what makes us happy. Mommy, However, that was Saturday, y'all. Saturday, fun times, good times. And now we're gonna roll over to... Ba -ba 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 -ba. What's up, beautiful people? It's Sunday, fun day! And you are out here with the Joneses in these streets, okay? As we are on our way to the church, we're gonna have a good time celebrating in the house of the Lord yet another Sunday. However, what are you doing today? Let us know in the comment section below. Whatever day you find this here vlog video, let us know. And uh, uh, you know, I'm just curious. I'm curious all at the same time. But uh, anyhow, anyway, Crystal is already there because she is serving in the coffee shop this uh, mountain and I needed the extra sleep. So I told her, just go ahead and Uber and we'll find our way there and we'll find our way back together again after service itself. However, with it all in it all, we're gonna go ahead and get to it and our, uh, bring you along the way. Cause you already know that's what we do each and every day. day. Ah! You getting it, y'all getting it. Y'all see how it flows and goes and things like that. But uh, yeah, man, let's get it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Service is done. The unit is back together again. And hello, hello to all the friends that are watching on the YouTube. You're hot, you turn it on, baby girl. Uh, so kiddos, how was service for you all? Great. Why so? Because Okay. I forgot what I learned about, but it's great. Okay. All right. But you have fun with your friends and all? Yes. Okay. Rain, was your friend there today? No. Oh, okay. But you still oh. had a good time. What's up, brother? Um, I saw the guy. I saw the guy. 
the the per, the kid that 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 ripped my my band. Oh, oh snap! Okay, I don't know much about that, but we can talk about that after the camera stopped rolling and on the way to our next destination. But in and out with it all, my dear, how was service for you today? Service was awesome. The message was great. It was cool because he was talking about the people of Israel and the story of Moses and all that. And then traveling and that's something that I've been studying deeply in my personal time. So it was really good. That is true. And uh, shouts out to Pastor Chris. Uh, our yeah. pastors of the church is off in Australia to minister there. And so Pastor Chris, the youth and young adult pastor, did fill in today. And he did a phenomenal job with the headline or title of the message about how slow progress is still progress. And it was phenomenal, as she said, walking us through the story of exodus right now uh, the children of israel or yeah the children of israel uh leaving out of egypt but nonetheless in it all it was a great message great notes and uh just fire me up fire me up through the things yeah. that god has already been sharing with me and for us to do and i'm excited to get into all those things knowing that hey slow progress is still progress right there's a process that will lead to progress and uh you know i'm excited to show you all so stay tuned to all of the goodness and the fun that is to follow this week i'm telling y'all it's gonna be some phenomenal uh videos some phenomenal information and things that will be the trajectory of the weeks ahead the times that we'll be able to share together and the things that we will do together one step at a time so yeah, my dear, you're cooking or are you picking something up? It's up to you guys. Um, it's really up to you guys. Mm. Maybe yeah. we'll pick something up for lunch and then I can cook dinner. Okay. All right. All right. So we'll see. We'll but see. it's up to you how hungry you are. Mm. I'm not super, super hungry, but you know, it takes time to cook. So. It takes time to cook. It does take her time. At least three and a half hours to yeah. cook anything. Greatness takes From time. breakfast to uh, boiled eggs, you know oh. what I'm saying? Take about an hour and a half for her with boiled eggs. Boiled anyway. eggs, really? <laughs> really? Like what you. should she cook on a Sunday morning? Let us know in the comment section below, and it might be the meal that afternoon. she makes next week. Sunday Sunday afternoon. afternoon. Yeah, Sunday afternoon. What I say? Sunday morning. morning. Yeah. Sunday afternoon. Let us know, and it might be the meal she cooks next week. Ricky, what were you about to say? I was about to say, always be patient. Mmm. 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 Says the person working on it. Mm, my <laughs> lord, but it's a stick. It's in him. It's, it's in right. Him. It's in him. Right. And that's the beautiful part about it. You know, you may not always see fruit, but to know that it's in him. That root is there, so fruit will come. The fruit will it's come. It's inevitable. The, it's inevitable. My lord. Ricky, talk about patience around food. Those are two things that don't go together just now, but the fruit will manifest because the, the root is already there. Yes. So. Like I said in the previous vlog, he's a good man. You know what I'm saying? So if you have a daughter age five to seven, you know, maybe up to eight, just know it's a good one. So uh, yes. I don't know what we'll do with that information. But anyway, let's continue along our way. And obviously, we will bring you a part of the day. Bye. Just like that. Y'all already know what we do. Come to the missile. Because you're going to find everything you need and everything you didn't even know you wanted. But we up here at the Santa City Mall get some supplies, some groceries and things like that. And uh, obviously a bite to eat. So journey with us and we'll see what all we uh, do. Santin. We gotta get a little man a jacket. The one that he had, he lost on the cruise. So we in here to get the man a jacket. Oh, to be a parent, I tell you what. All right, my man has a jacket now. We also bought him some pants because he needed some pants, as y'all can see. And so, boom, flash the total up so far of what we have spent. As it's been asked us, how much do you spend when you're out and about at these grocery stores and stores alike? And so, 
That's what I'm gonna share. I'm gonna start doing better with that, okay? I see what y'all say in the comment section and I'm gonna get y'all what y'all asked for. But anyway, anyhow, jacket is on point. Oh snap, I gotta take his tag off. Let me do that, y'all. All right, so we went to Nespresso, had to get some more coffee. Uh, let me show y'all, let me show y'all, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'll show y'all when we get home. But nonetheless, espresso, coffee, and cups. We ended up spending 1200 grand. And now we're in here to get rain some bottoms. And our, uh, you know, we're gonna see. Get him something, she's quick to follow. But it's all good, it's necessary. Get it, Ricky. Get it, Ricky. Get it, Ricky. store we left or that we didn't buy anything rain it didn't fit her the way she wanted it to fit rain it didn't, it didn't hit right huh no. no okay well we tried we tried multiple things thank you thank you all right so we're off to another store we'll see where we go all right so we just left the h and m in shakalaka rain picked up some pants nice deal i must say it was a three pack for 480 so, winter, winter, chicken dinner. All right, speaking of dinner, now it's time to get something to eat and uh, get back inside. We're spending too much money outside. It's time to get back inside. I'm just saying. All right, so after we left from getting rain, uh, some clothing, it's time to get something to eat. Oh, Ricky. Wow. Wow, brother. Look at you. Look at you. Let's get rain. Uh, rain is stuck. Come on for the next person. Is mommy gonna come down too? Yes. Oh, okay. They always want to come down the slide. Every now and again, we'll let them, uh, you know, have a little fun. Today was one of them days. And so now it's time to go get something to eat. Y'all let us know in the comment section below where do you think we're going to eat. If you know the family, you already know. You know what I'm saying? Santa City, downstairs, where do you think we're going? A ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding, a ding. If you know us, then you know. Coming back from the cruise, man, I got to hit my spot up. Come on now. Y'all already know what it is. Loyalty. Jones family about loyalty and long-term relationships. Wait, we might have to switch it up though. It's a long line. Oh snap, wait a minute. People finding out about this secret, but anyway, you know I'ma have the chicken schnitzel. Ricky went with the chicken strips and fries. Rain went with the fish, which she did enjoy as well. And Crystal is team chicken schnitzel. Welcome to the good side. Make sure y'all get that pepper sauce on the side too. You know what I'm saying? Boom, y'all the rain good? Yes. All right, so now we need to go to the checkers so we can pick up some items. And we're gonna show the people what checkers look like. Bam! 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 How about that? Mommy, can we get the All right. Alright. Okay. You get it. Go ahead and dribble it. That's alright. It was a try. My boy was so committed to play basketball, which I mean, I love it for him, even though he don't have a height for it, but you know, you never know. But shouts out to sports scene for the basketball goal scenario, and he enjoyed every bit of it. While the ladies were in checkers, the men were over here playing basketball. So we made it back to the, his house. Hey, they just to your room. <clears throat> Sorry for dropping it. All right, so in here, like I said, I was gonna show you some of the pickups. So we picked up some espresso which, you know, I like it. I like it because it keeps us from spending so much money out getting coffee, because coffee is a necessity for us. I don't know how many are in here. I think it's 11. I don't know, 10, at least 10. 10 in each one, so we have like 40 
things. It's probably not gonna last too long, but we have the golden caramel, we have the sweet vanilla. Oh, that's gonna be nice. And then we have the Intensio, which I love the Intensio. Yep, if y'all are into uh, coffee, this is what you need. And this is the Nespresso machine that you also want to uh, use, okay? Then we got the brown sugar, we had our white sugar, and we had a Hunte, 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 Hunte. Are you good? Yes. All right, so that's an espresso pickup. Again, 12, oh, my bad. And then Crystal bought these cups, which I was gonna buy for her birthday, so she just started her birthday celebration already. Bigger cups to make her coffee because the girl likes to do extra stuff, and the cups we have are not big enough. When is it her Bars. birthday? Her birthday is April 22nd, so it's coming up. All right, so that's that. Let me see what we picked She's up from birthday. Checkers. Say it again. She's near Lucas' birthday. Oh. Because it's the 20th. Respect. All right. So for the Checkers, which delays with the Checkers, we went to that basketball spot that I showed y'all. Picked up some almond milk, which is good for coffee. Picked up some oatmeal. Picked up some pasta sauce and some seasonings. I'll find the receipt to find out how much this here costs. Nonetheless, boom shakalaka. And I must say, I have not seen this in the state. So this was like a come up that we found out while out here. And this is our go-to as we use it for coffee creamer within our coffee that we make over there. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the SA. Ooh, we they got me out here in these streets. As y'all know, the Joneses won't be out there in the streets like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's some people that can get you out here in these streets. And I'm excited to bring y'all too, who got me out here in these streets. We out there, well, I'm out here at the, I say I, cause the family is not with me, right? Uh, but nonetheless, I'm out here at the Four Ways Farmers Market on a Sunday. So y'all already know what it is. And you should probably have an idea of who gonna be here. You know what I'm saying? Based off of the things that I said and the other videos and YouTube videos that you've seen. I here but nonetheless in it all let me go ahead and get to it because i'm two hours behind because you know what i'm saying it was family time first so in it all with it all let's go oh yeah i just thought about it too this is actually my first time coming to four ways on a sunday being able to go into the adult side of things that everybody else be ratting and raving about so i'm excited to see not what the hype is all about but what the experience has to offer how about that all right let's go i look for my people over there in the family area I didn't see them, which I'm excited I didn't. That means I might be able to finally get to the grown people section. Y'all hear the chickens. They be out here. But we're gonna keep looking. I'm trying to boom diggity getting the photos. Boom! They go to family from New Island, you know what I'm saying? D Carla. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't be too hot. There it is, there it is. Paul in that thing. Bow, bow. <laughs> All right, great people. So this is the third day. Well, yeah, yeah. The third day of this vlog, but the final piece of the puzzle. However, all that to say, we had a great time at Four Ways Farmers Market. I was enjoying the ambiance, which is why no video was captured or taken during the time. And we actually ran into another American that was scoping out the land, the, the area and so forth and so on with an idea of making the move to Johannesburg, South Africa. And it was just cool. It was cool to walk into him, but then also introduce him to all of us that were already out there. But then from the four ways farmers market we went to a uh, get together at someone's home and it was a fab tabulous time now two things took place that i was like oh snap this is awesome but one of the things that i want to share with you all is that i had the uh, ability and the experience of meeting a princess yes oh my gosh like it was my first time ever meeting royalty in person and i totally like butchered it in the beginning of an introduction like you know somebody said that she was a princess but I've never been in that situation before, so I didn't take it serious. I thought to myself, of course, she's somebody princess. My princess is at home. You know what I'm saying? I just kind of left it like that, said hello, all those things. However, when I was making my rounds, saying goodbye to everyone, as I was departing, I came up to her and in saying goodbye, I could tell like it was, it was, you know, it was a little hesitancy. But then I was also introduced to her by saying, hey, did I, did, did you meet her, the princess? She's a princess. And I was like, no, I mean, I did. But at the end of the day, mentally, I'm thinking, oh snap, like hopefully I was respectful and, and did things in the proper way and sequence or whatever, whatnot. But I was like, no, um, I wasn't formally introduced. However, I did speak upon coming in. And uh, then talking to her, I was like, hey, did I say hello? Did I greet you? properly like i don't know i've never been in the presence of royalty and she was like no you didn't 
Then she kindly informed me on the proper way of speaking to royalty. And um, I then was like, okay, thank you. I will walk away and I'm gonna come back and do it the way that I should have done it the first time. And hopefully I will eradicate what I did wrong the first time I met you, right? And it was a great experience. We sat down a little bit and I asked her some questions and things like that just to find out like what being royalty was like and how do people identify you as being a princess and so forth and so on. So great conversation, so much so that I said, hey, I would love to have you on the channel because Americans like myself don't come into the presence of royalty, if not ever, but not often at all. And so it would be great to hear your story, great to know how to communicate with such individuals as yourself and she was first was like okay yes just send it to my people and they'll get to you ask some questions and so forth and so on however by the end of the conversation that we had she was like i would love to be on the channel so all that to say ladies and gentlemen be on the lookout for the princess that is to come in 2024 because she was like things don't happen like expeditiously or immediately however it will take place because it is something that i want to do not only for you but for those that view the channel that you all have and so i'm excited all that to say, great experience, fun times, good times. You never know who you will bump into out here in these Joe Bird streets. I would have, well, I don't believe I would have ever done so in the States, however, out here. I'm just bumping into royalty, bumping into people that are doing films and things like that on Netflix. And uh, fun times, good times at the end of the day. Like, I'm honored and privileged all at the same time and blessed and favored, right? To be able to be in such rooms and such spaces and places where great conversations and interactions can take place that will not only elevate who I am mentally, but also what I have to offer and experience as far as learning and things like that. So all that to be said and shared, great people, be on the lookout. And lastly, I told her, I would love for you to be able to meet my daughter, but more than anything, my daughter to meet you because she is my little princess. And I would love for her to be able to know how it's like to live the life of a true princess. And uh, so yeah, man, fun times, good times, all at the same time. And I thank you all for rocking with your family all at the same time. If you've been rocking with us this long, comment down below, we still here. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna let me know who the OGs are on this video. So until next time, great people, we love you all, we appreciate you all. Thank you for working with the Jones family and we'll see you on tomorrow. Until then, peace.